as y'all know, I did the hot blonde girl, aka Cinderella. Alright, so it is presented by Nacho Trejo. That's me, okay? Okay, um, this is right here, <coughs> first of all. Okay. okay, this is how I started doing Cinderella. <coughs> first of all, I started playing with shapes and trying to figure out what type of shapes should I use to create a young girl. <coughs> so, um, everybody knows since we were little, we started drawing um, women with a triangle <coughs> as an example of um, girls and everything. So I give Cinderella a triangle for her dress. <coughs> then, as everybody knows, a head is, is shaped like a circle. So um, with that, I, gave, I added a circle to the basic shape of Cinderella that is a triangle. Then I started playing with colors. What type of colors should I use to um, show uh, Cinderella? <coughs> so, uh, as uh, shown in the, in the story, uh, the mother took her colors away. Like, she, she used to be a rich, good girl and everything, but then her stepmother took her, her dresses and everything and gave her like a, a gray, uh, ugly dress for her to start working on the housekeeping materials and stuff. So uh, I did gray here and like and as we know and mostly all the princes in our imagination and everything, they have to be one like type of blonde or something. That's like the basic shape the color of a girl. So I started playing with squares and stuff to show her like she has like long hair and pretty and all stuff. And then I started with the face. Like after after her mother died and everything, Cinderella was kind of sad. Like her stepmother took away like everything that she owned and everything, and started making her do like cleaning and uh, doing that house housework and everything. <coughs> so I did two two different Cinderellas because in one of my scenes I'm gonna use <coughs> Cinderella right here as her being the the well-known girl, smart, cute, um, <coughs> good, and everything Cinderella is. And, and this one is Cinderella whenever the, the stepmother took her, her dresses and everything away from her. Okay, this right here is how I started making the, the hazel tree. The hazel tree is, um, is uh, important in this story because whenever his... Um, Whenever Cinderella's uh, father went into a trip, he asked uh, his two stepsisters and Cinderella what they wanted when they, um, whenever he came back. One of the stepsisters uh, said that she wanted key dresses and whenever <coughs> he came back. And then um, the other stepsister, she, she said she wanted uh, pearls and jewels. So, um, and then, his uh, father asked Cinderella, "What do you want for um, for you, for yourself whenever I come back from my trip?" And she said, "Father, I don't ask for much. I would only ask for um, whatever knocks your hat out of whatever way." Like. Says um, <coughs> the first twig that brushes against your hat on your way home. So like on his way home. He was going through the road and a hazel branch, a hazel branch knocked out his hat. So he picked up the hazel branch and went back home and gave like each each daughter whatever she asked for. So that I started with a big rectangle like for the the basic shapes and then I started adding some more rectangles to it to show like how how the hazel tree is like spread and everything. And this right here is the, the grave of her mother whenever um, she passed away. Like, she was very uh, in the um, 
in the backyard of her house and everything. And this is the two. Okay, this is the, the white bird. The white bird is the, I think is a great sign because um, I did the, the bird white because as we know white, we see angels everywhere. Like if we picture an angel, we picture an angel wearing like white clothes and everything, showing he's, he's a good spirit and everything. So for me, I, I think the bird symbolized her mother because her mother after, after she passed away, she said, stay good and um, I'll protect my dear God and me. I will protect you from heaven. You just have to stay pure and good to other others, stay calm and don't do nothing bad that will harm you in the way. So I, I, I decided like, to use white to do the bird. And this is the steps. I use triangles, uh, ovals, and squares to form the, the bird. Then we have the prince. Um, <coughs> uh, a prince, a, a picture of prince being a uh, charming blue because everybody wants like a, a good prince. And blue is, uh, we know like blue is for guys. Like we picture, we every, every time we see a picture of, of a guy and a girl, a male or female, we see, for the female we see pink, light pink. And for males we usually see like light blue and everything. Um, so I started playing with uh, squares, triangles, and everything, giving hands. And this this is the prince smiling because a big event is coming up. As we know, the big event is a festival. The festival wherever he's gonna invite all the pretty girls in the town and he's gonna um he's gonna get one so he can marry her. And this is him. This right here is like I try to make it like a Crown, but I didn't want to make it like pointy and everything because I don't know it kind of looked lame. So, so I gave him like a crown in the middle and, and the eyes. And then right here, this is the heel. Uh, the heel is important because at the end we know uh, whenever the prince goes looking for the right girl that could fit the shoe. So he can wear her. So this heel is like important. So right here we have scene one. As you can tell, uh, I I changed black for gray to give um, give uh, not so not so much dark because whenever we have a dark picture, in this case, it will be saying like the 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 mother is going to hell or something like that. You know. It represents darkness and and um, darkness and and something else. I can't remember. So um, uh, this right here is the mother. Whenever she was talking to Cinderella, to uh, she was telling her, whenever before I die, I just wanted to tell you to stay good and be stay away from evil and everything. Do whatever. Uh, do whatever comes, and you, you be rewarded with um, with great gifts and everything. So, I try to do her the mother's hair white to show that she was going to heaven, for example. And this is this is the colors I use: yellow and blue. Blue giving like like light blue. Blue also um, shows tranquility. I mean, like she's gonna rest in peace because she she had the she had her last words with Cinderella. That's the only thing she wanted. And after she said whatever she wanted to say, she closed her eyes and died. So this is this is uh, the whole picture. We have a door over here, and then we have Cinderella over here facing her mother. That's the reason she don't have no eyes and nothing. That's why she has her hands crossed and everything because she's sad and she's not gonna see her mom no more. And over here, we have the hazel tree that I told you was going to be so important. The tomb, the house, and, and as we can tell, the house is more up because um, because uh, the tomb and the tree is behind. So it shows you like how far is it away from it. And then right here we have we have the bird. 
the clouds and the sun. And so, we you know, uh, her mother, Cinderella, every time when she was sad, she would go three times to the, to the backyard. And, and as soon as the fe she knew about the festival, she wanted to go. But her stepmother um, told her no. She would throw a piece to the ashes and make her pick, him, pick them up and fool her. She told, she told her twice and she fooled her twice. So then after, after her two sisters and, and stepmother went to the festival, she went outside and she, and she said, um, shaking people to the tree, throw gold and silver to me. So what that means is, is, is that um, she was asking her mother that I, I'm guessing the bird is her mother coming like an angel, throwing her what, it, what we have here, two slippers and a golden dress, a golden dress so she could uh, dress up and go to the festival with no worries and look so beautiful like she used to be before her mother took her her soul away from her. In this one, as you know, the after the three three times she went to the festival, on the third attempt, she she always ran away from uh, from the prince before before uh, the night was over. On the first time she she ran and she jumped into the pigeon pigeon car. And the prince chased her, but she was too fat for him. And as soon as he, he got to the pigeon, pigeon car, she jumped from the back. And whenever he opened it, there was no one there. So he couldn't, he couldn't know who the beautiful girl uh, he was dancing with. So in the second time she went to the festival, she had, she had an even more beautiful dress and look even more gorgeous than she was before. So um, in that time, the, the girl, aka Cinderella, she ran back to her home. Uh, the prince followed her to her home, and, um, and then she climbed up a pier's tree. And then um, the, the prince went there and got to the pier's tree, but Cinderella had already jumped from the back of the pier tree, so whenever he cut down the tree and see who the beautiful girl was, she was already gone. So in the third attempt, he had, he had already a plan, a tramp, like whatever he was gonna do, do to um, keep her in the in the castle, so he could figure out who she was. But, uh, but even with that, Cinderella escaped. But there was something missing. One of her heels got stuck in one of the the tramp, the prince had. So he had. He had a, an advantage. He had a heel that no one else could fit the, the girl he was dancing with. So saying that, the prince went all around town trying to look for her, for his soulmate. Um, so he went around, he got to Cinderella's house, and as we know, the stepmother had, is heartless and everything. So she wanted her stepsister to do whatever it take to get the prince to marry her. So the first time, the prince went to the oldest one, because the stepmother threw the oldest one before anyone else. And she went to her room, uh, better the shoe, but the shoe, one of her toes didn't fit. So her mother told her, cut off your toe. Don't worry, after you become queen, you won't never have to walk again. So it don't matter. So the stepsister, she listened to her, and she cut off her toe. We're going to have to wrap it up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, play I'm, I'm here. About, about to finish. Okay, okay so, so then uh, she fit the shoe, but, but um, as we know, the, the market bears or the, the, the birds, as, she, as he was riding with her with a horse, uh, the birds said, um, Rip to go, rip to go. The shoe is too tight. The, uh, there's blood in the shoe. The shoe is too tight. The bride is not right. So with this, he looked at the shoe and saw the shoe uh, real bloody and everything. So she, he took her back, saying that she was not the right, right. So then he went to the younger sister, to the other sister, and the same thing happened. And instead of a toe, her heel was too big, 
her, so she chopped some of her heel off and tried the, the heel, and, and she fed it, and he took it to, back to the castle. Now, but sure. we're going to have to stop, or the other people won't have okay. a chance to, pre to well, present. Just what yeah. is, is well, in your... this one, in the final one, this, this we have Cinderella sitting on a chair, sitting on a chair, and this is the prince putting the shoe on, on her. Okay. So, as we know, Cinderella fit, fit the heel, mm -hmm. and they were happily after. And, and if you can tell, in this window over here in the back, the branches of the, of the hazel trees form a heart, mm -hmm. showing, showing that um, they, they, were, they fell in love and they were happily ever after. Okay.